The National Assembly kicked off its first interpolation session of 2018. Lawmakers will probe government officials on various topics, including foreign affairs, economy, and social issues. Kim Minji has the highlights of day one. There was no let up in the verbal sparring by rival lawmakers over inter Korean relations. The government and the ruling Democratic Party of Korea were on the same page, saying the opportunity for dialogue is rare, and they will try to maintain the positive atmosphere after the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics are over. But the opposition raised concerns, saying while it may seem like the two Koreas are on the path to peace, the North's participation in the games is overshadowing its nuclear ambitions and saying security requires more than just talk. Now is the time to take the strategic move of discussing nuclear armament or sharing nuclear assets with the U.S. What do you think? I have said so many times, but the government continues to pursue a nuclear-free peninsula. We are protected under Washington's nuclear umbrella, and the South Korea-U.S. alliance remains firm. Another contentious issue was amending the Constitution. The ruling bloc stressed that a referendum must be held alongside local elections in June, as the issue has been discussed enough over the years and that holding both votes at the same time will save costs. However, opposition parties argued that the core of the revision needs to be a reduction in presidential powers, but they claim neither the ruling bloc nor the president has any interest in such a change. Back in 2012, President Moon, as a presidential candidate, claimed it was good to share power. But now he openly says he prefers a two-term, four-year presidency. Now that he's in charge, it seems his aides like the power they have, doesn't it? I am aware he said he prefers a two-term, four-year presidency throughout campaign last year. If there was one area where they could come together, it was a need for better management so that accidents like the two recent fires that claimed dozens of lives did not occur again. I understand that safety inspections kick off this week. We need firm measures regarding safety. Safety inspections will run through March 30th. They've been carried out on a yearly basis since after the Seoul Ferry disaster. The inspections will cover 300,000 facilities. Until now, when accidents have happened, there have been only patchwork remedies. But now, even if it takes time and costs a lot of money, we will find the root causes and fix the problem. Rival parties also went after each other over the digging up of irregularities under past conservative governments. The ruling party denied that recent investigations into the previous conservative governments were political retaliation, while the opposition called for a probe into allegations surrounding the current administration. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.